A lot of people today want to scare you by telling you that we're running out of this resource or that resource. But I want to spend a few minutes with you today talking about something we don't think of as a resource, but it's one of the most valuable we have. It's probably the only resource that we encounter on a daily basis, and it's the only resource that has existed since the beginning of mankind. For thousands of years, the solution of what to do with our trash has been to bury it and hope that it goes away. We don't need to do that anymore, yet the vast majority of our trash is still buried. The landfill industry exists today with the recycling industry, but they can't coexist indefinitely. We continue to bury our trash and recycle that same trash. Ever wonder what happens when something you throw away is buried in a landfill? You'd be surprised. Like all other land surface, rain falls on a landfill. That rainwater moves through the landfill and picks up hundreds of nasty chemicals along the way. Whether it's an older or a modern landfill, the contaminated water is still collected and processed, and the result is still the same. Contaminated water continues to enter our lives. Treatment plants cannot remove all the contaminants, which is why our society has moved to bottled water for drinking. If they were able to remove all the contaminants, the cost would be astronomical. According to the EPA and various state environmental departments, rates of assorted diseases, cancer, animal health problems, reduced crop yield, and more are elevated in areas surrounding most of the landfills in our country. The reason is not only the contaminated water that soaks into the surrounding ground, but it's also the result of the contaminated air that surrounds a landfill. You see, noxious gases are released when the material deposited inside the landfill breaks down. These gases escape into the atmosphere and become the air that you and I breathe. Some landfills try to capture a small portion of this gas and sell it as a fuel, but this only involves a small portion of the gases that are released. Our solution not only eliminates the health risk imposed on us by landfills, it addresses America's need for additional energy. The energy we can create from waste gives us a continuing renewable source of fuel that we don't have to mine or drill to obtain. It's here and it's everywhere. We don't have to transport it across vast oceans or pump it across continents via pipelines. Every community has trash and every community needs energy. At Green USA Recycling, we don't just recycle metal, plastic, appliances, or any other single piece of the waste that's generated. We recycle all of it. If you throw it away, we can recycle it into something. Most of what we recycle is recycled for reuse. The aluminum can may become an aluminum can again. A pair of old jeans that just aren't this year's style may become insulation. That cardboard box your new computer was in it may become compost that makes your neighbor's roses grow better. The old tires from your car may become diesel fuel that powers the truck that brings things to your community. The list goes on and on, but for those few things we can't recycle for reuse, we perform the ultimate magic trick and turn that into electricity to power your home. It boils down to a simple philosophy that we believe in here at Green USA Recycling. Bury nothing, recycle everything. By doing what we can to clean up our land, our air, and our water, we also create a clean and green source of fuel, while also providing jobs to a community. And all the while, turning the trash you throw away into something valuable again. Green USA, bury nothing, recycle everything.